Welcome back to Ghost of a Tail. So I'm heading down to the harbor. I'm going to look in that crab pen to see if I can find the thief's whistle for the two mouse. The two mouse? The two mice. I spent literally about ten minutes. Actually, almost exactly ten minutes before actually starting this episode. Looking for the cook. Remember the cook that we saw like a million years ago? And remember the blacksmith told us that the cook has a key nearby for getting into the uh, the well? I spent literally 10 minutes looking for the cook and I cannot find them. I have no idea where they are. Oh, and I also found a red rose along the way. So I think we have 15 out of 17 of those. And I also found the final skag beetle while I was looking for that too. So we can turn that into Silas at some point. Okay, switch to something a little bit faster. So where was it supposed to be in here exactly? Oh, right, I have my sense, don't I? Oh, there it is. Cool. I really, really wish I could remember where the cook was. It's really bothering me. Ten minutes. Ten minutes. Ah. I wish there was a way to add stuff to the map, or honestly, I just wish the map was more useful. It's really not that useful. Let's use our little shortcut here. Here, I have your thief's whistle. Good. What's that smell? Alright. A true thief must be accomplished in a range of skills. Agility, tenacity, mm hmm If you master every one of them, we can join our guild. Uh, haven't we already discussed this? I would be honored. Okay, the long drop, keen ears, or strong arm. Still not interested in long drop. That'll probably be the last one I do. Uh, what is keen ears again? Way to sense when an enemy is nearby. We can teach you that. Oh, and strong arm makes you do more damage with bottles and things like that. Hmm. Let's do keen ears. This one is not easy to learn, and for every thief, it's a little different. It's like opening yourself to the world around you. It's sense, it sounds, and letting a picture of it grow in your mind's eye. Wow, that is not helpful at all. It helps if you really crouch down like you're sneaking. For me, it looks like a glowing aura. Give it a try with a guard outside. Oh. oh, I see. Okay, so every time they like make a sound, I see a little like puff, sort of. That doesn't seem very helpful at all, actually. I didn't really expect it to be that helpful, but that is particularly unhelpful. Alright, I just got an idea of where the cook might be. I've got a feeling they might be through the forest. And also, while we're at the forest, I want to check out uh, Doinlin and those obelisks because a patch was just released for this game today that fixed a bunch of stuff, including the whole can't read the inscriptions on the obelisks thing, so that should be fixed. Don't know if that's going to allow me to actually progress with Doinlin, but it might. Um, and they also fixed the issue that caused the map to not actually show the correct map when I was around the, like, going between the catacombs and the harbor area, I think. We got all messed up. So this should be fixed. Oh. Well, um, along the way to the forest, trying to find it, I actually found the cook. Yeah, it's in a really odd spot. Um, so... It's kind of in this main area where you go up from the courtyard to where this person's patrolling. You go down here and to the right and then... Was it here? Yeah, this is it. Now we can get a good look around here. Let's grab a bunch of food. Gambler. Oh, maybe the fate cards?
It's worth it. Mind me, I'm a similarly statured person, also still holding a bottle. But I'm definitely not that other person. I just saw him go by. Eh, I'll leave the rest of the food there. Don't want to get spotted again. I think I have to go up here just to be able to talk with him. <laughs> yeah, I have my own little step stool. What brings you to my table, Buck? I was just wondering what game you're playing. Oh, perhaps I can give you a demonstration. What's your name, Buck? Lar. Belar Lar. What are we playing? The game is High Low 7. Bets are between two and five florins accepted. Okay, so I guess the fate cards aren't used here. And you need at least five florins to play. Are you in? Hmm. Uh, remind me of the rules. We roll a fair dice two times. The outcome is high if the sum is eight, nine, ten, eleven, or twelve. Low if the sum is two, three, four, five, or six. And seven if the sum is seven. Before the, four, the, before the first roll, you get to call one of those three outcomes. Payout for a winning bet of high or low is twice the amount wagered, or four times for a winning bet of seven. Are you in? Hmm. Two florins? Good, let's play. Now, before you roll, choose. Do you think the sum of the two throws will be high, low, or seven? Low. You're certain? Aye. Alright, take your first throw. You roll a one. Nice. Roll again. Six. Oh, we got a seven! Total of seven. I lose. That's it, you've cleaned me out for the day. Wait. You've cleaned me out for the day? But I didn't even win. I lost. Alright, see ya. <laughs> I don't really feel like gambling too much. Oh, this went to the bathroom, didn't it? Wait, I've never been in there. Wasn't there a bathroom that you could access from this place? Oh, it's over there. So, there should be a key somewhere. And some lovely sticks. Hold so many, I love it. Hello, Rezia. Well, don't just stand there, my love. Come in. What are you cooking, Uma? I've got a pie in the oven. Will you try some? Oh, I'd love to. The pie. You have a small taste of Rezia's food and feel reinvigorated. Thank you. Oh, that food looks amazing, doesn't it? Well, I'm not so sure about the, like, giant frog leg or whatever that is. But look at that pie. Mmm. Ah, there it is. Oop. The well key. Sweet. I wonder where the kitchen key is, though. You think it'd be in here? It doesn't seem to be on them either. I don't see it. Weeping widow mushroom. Why do they have a weeping widow mushroom? They're not making poison, are they? It's a, a tad bit suspicious. Try to see if they have a key on them. Nope. 
Possibly one of the guards, maybe? Hmm. Oh. Oh, it's a footlocker key. I still want it, though. Let's <laughs> see if I can get it from here. Oh. Uh, fine, fine. I'm fine. Yep. Private. Oh, fine, fine. <laughs> Would you, uh, join me for a drink? Afraid not. The commander's ordered that somebody be on duty here during mealtimes. Why's that? Two of the guards ended up in the infirmary last night. The food's that bad? <laughs> Don't let the cook hear you say that. It was her who put them there. Caught them complaining about her stew. Aye, carousing, fighting, gambling, theft. It all goes on in here. Wow, Rezzy is hardcore. Beat them up for complaining about the stew and put them in the infirmary. Ah, best get on. Oh, there we go. I guess I'll just keep collecting the footlocker keys and then go back there at some point. Not much of a point in going back there for every single one, I think. So yeah, this is the bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. Still find it strange, the kitchen key thing. Kitchen key is not in the kitchen. Hmm. Okay, well, let's head back to the courtyard and to the well and open it up. I'm surprised I never noticed that you could actually open this thing. down there. Jailer's Obel. So this is where the jailer went. Huh. After the mushroom and the whole putting the people in the infirmary thing and the fact that they are the only ones that had the key to the well, I think they might be, what, what was it, the master? The mastermind? Intriguing. They're very suspicious now. I keep forgetting to use my scent or sense. Okay, let's head back to the commander. Scow, what can I do for you? Sir, I'm afraid the jailer is murdered. Murdered? You're certain. I discovered his body at the bottom of the well. And you didn't think to say anything. Um, what? What do you mean? Sir, I found him just before you summoned me here. Which also isn't accurate either, because they haven't summoned me, but... What evidence have you of this? Here, sir, I have the Jailer's Obel. Th this is his blood. Thank you, Scow. Thank you, sir. Rest assured the killer will be brought to justice. Yes, prob <laughs> probably by me. Now, take this to the smithy. Once again, the commander prepares orders for the blacksmith. Perhaps there's more he can do for you. Oh, can you make my armor even faster? I hope so. I have orders for you from the commander. Said you know what to do with them. Mm -hmm. I can either work on your armor or teach you about these spider traps. Your choice. <laughs> I am always going to pick the armor. What more can you do to my armor? Uh, let me think. I can make you a new chest plate. Take some weight out the helmet. Should let you move a lot more freely. You might even be able to run without getting exhausted. Eight hours. Well, thankfully, I know there's a bed right around here. Just finishing up now. Blacksmith takes a cloth from his belt and gives the armor a quick polish before offering it to you. This is as good as it's going to get. Okay. See how much faster it is and see if it looks different. Ah, oh, they said they were going to, like, change the chest piece or something, but it looks exactly the same. 
Definitely doesn't look like it's been polished. Definitely noticeably faster, though. Oh yeah, that's so much better. You know, I don't think I got a new quest from these mice. Did I? Uh, yeah, I didn't. What else do you need? One last thing. We could use a compass. Alright. You know the frog down in the jail? The Valian? They say he has a compass hidden in the cell. He's alright in his way. Aye, there's something of the rogue about him. But don't cross him. He's one to hold a grudge. I've met him. Then you know what I mean. Aye, and with that in mind, you'll be better off not mentioning we sent you. Let's go speak with the frog. Enlisted in the Rat Guard, have you? That's scraping the barrel even for them. I'm in need of a compass. I was told you might have one. Oh, you were told, were you? And who was it told you? Well, I'm supposed to not mention them, so that's not important. <laughs> do you believe everything you're told? Well, do you have a compass? <laughs> oh, Mousy. It would be a poor navigator didn't have his own compass. Aye, I, I imagine it would be. Of course, I never had one. But I do have the captain's compass. Perhaps you'd be willing to trade it for something. Never. That compass is my most treasured possession. I'll never part with it. Remain silent. Fine, if it'll shut you up, the compass is yours. But first, I need you to do something for me. <laughs> I thought remaining silent might be the right thing to do there. What is it you need? I want you to bring me the tongue of a magpie. What the hell? I'm not doing that. Right you are. You empty my bucket for me and I'll see if I can get you that compass. Um... Okay. <laughs> empty your bucket, but the sewer drain there is all clogged up. Then get in there and unclog it. Mouse like you should be accustomed to waiting around in muck. Okay. Let's take this armor off. Don't want to get it all mucky. The stench is enough to sting your eyes and turn your fur white. You wretch, as like a grotesque conjuring trick, you pulled something, something. Text disappears so fast. Night soil bucket. Night soil, aka shit. Ooh. You're welcome. I emptied the bucket as you asked. Now, about the compass. Compass? Ah, well now. Come close, Mousy, and I'll tell you. Closer. It's hidden in my night soil bucket. Oh. Oh, okay. So it's in the sewers now. I hear it's very nice down there this time of year. Mind the leeches. Okay. Whoops. Can I throw a stick at you? Dang it, I can't. Well, I sorta of can. <laughs> Alright, well actually I can do two things while I'm down in the sewers. Because I still need to turn in that amateur mycologist quest. And we need to look for wherever the night soil came out at. So let's do that right now. I guess my sense is probably going to come in handy here. My super sense. So where could it be? Like, I wonder if it's going to be obvious? Or if I'm going to have to look really hard. Also, I remember getting lost down here, so not looking forward to that. Let's go speak with Faustus. 
But let me do something first. Okay, let's go speak with Faustus. Right to remember this way leads there. Oh, yeah. Ranger stuff gives me better stamina. Uh, oh, it's you, Mouse. Are you alright, sir? Y yes, yes, I... <sighs> Do you know, Mouse, why I'm here? Would you care to tell me? I was for many years the Baron's personal physician, the finest apothecarist in all of Meridia. I sat in his court, and the noble rats of Pesa saw me as their equal, until one evening I was called to the Baron's chambers. It was a case of ring tail, nothing more serious than that. The ointment I applied was my own concoction, it had proven most effective in other cases, but alas, Ringtail, a disease that causes a series of painful constrictions along the length of a rodent's tail. If left untreated, the appendage can turn gangrenous and drop off. Ugh. Go on. And so I was sent here to Doinlin Heights, an opportunity to reflect upon my carelessness, the Baron called it. It wasn't long before the Jailer brought me to this chamber and put me to work. I have served my sentence a dozen times over, but while there is another batch of rotgut brewing, the jailer and his master will never let me leave this place. Well, I'll have you know, Faustus, the jailer's dead. The jailer is a member of the Band of Smugglers? Of course, but I would have thought you'd know that. Sir, the jailer is dead, murdered and tossed into the well. Murdered? No more than he deserved. Okay, yeah, so your whole problem's just solved. You can just leave now if you want. <laughs> Probably not that simple. Uh, found samples of the eight mushrooms, as you asked. Very good. Now here. The apothecarist offers you a small blackish brown cake. Eat this. What is it? Just eat it! Okay. You pop the cake into your mouth and chew. It tastes of ash and bile. Anything? What do you mean? Any tightness in your chest? Shooting pains along your tail? Blindness? No? <laughs> Perhaps a pinch more cat's tooth will do it. Cat's tooth? But isn't cat's tooth poisonous? All things are poisonous if one consumes enough of them. Oh, leveled up. Gained health and stamina. Sweet! Okay. Gotta remember to keep using my senses to see if I can find something, such as this. Thorns in the sewage. Oh wow, they're all over the place. Yes, yes. Think we're safe here? I think this might be it. Aha! Compass! Sweet! Uh, oh. Ugh. I can hear the flies. Okay, well I guess we're done in the sewers then. Let's go bring it back to the two mice. Here, did somebody say they needed a compass? Aye, about five days ago. What do you mean, hasn't been five days? That's not even working. The needle's stuck pointing due north. Oh, we're heading north, so that's perfect. <sighs> Alright. So what can we teach you? 
Strong arm. Let's go over it again. I'm not the strongest mouse, but I have a good arm. It's all about technique. Bottles, sticks, whatever. You can do a lot more damage if you throw them just so. Alright, stand back. Vitaly demonstrates her special throwing technique. Alright then. That's it for now. Okay, what now? Now we wait. Wait for what? For our chance. The commanders had to keep on high alert since the jailer got himself killed. You heard about that. News travels quickly here. I said he was dead. Didn't I say he was dead? It's going to be safer to lie low here until they catch whoever did it. Meanwhile, try and gather up as much food as you can. It's going to be a long journey. I should go. Farewell. Bless you. Alright, well, I think that's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I think I'm going to head to the forest and see if the obelisk's now working is going to allow me to speak with Doinlin and tell them their lover's name.